Hi, welcome to the Core User Group 2023. My name is Mirin Moibhadacharji, and I'm in uh, Nokia's Cloud Mobility Manager R&D team. Uh, today I will talk about artificial intelligence, how it is used in detecting and uh, mitigating anomalies in UV paging activity. So why do we want to detect and mitigate uh, anomalies? Because anomalies can actually take place because of certain conditions in the network. And these anomalies can actually end up in overloading and causing outage in the network. And right there, AIML has a very specific role because this is, these are problems that we can solve by intelligently detecting and mitigating these AI, uh, anomalies using AIML. And what are the benefits to the end user? Reduced chances of outage, that's number one. Improved user experience, because you don't want to, you don't want to cause any shedding because an, an anomaly is in progress. And assured revenue for our customers. Let me go to the next slide. Um, so now next thing is like how do we uh, build a model, AIML model, that can be used to detect and mitigate these anomalies. So first of all, our objective is we forecast the size of UV paging anomaly uh, about an hour into the future. And we build a model that learns from the previous, um, previous path behavior of fan out, uh, paging fan out. And we use a number of inputs that we give to the model, which includes the number of UVs paged, number of G-node Bs con uh, contacted, UV count, total masses rate, delays, paging failure rate. Delays are very important because if delays increase, then we know that there is some sort of anomaly taking place in the network. Similarly, if we see paging failure rates at certain times of the day, that helps us cause or catch uh, anomalies in the network. And in this graph you can see there is a base level of anomaly, which is, sorry, not anomaly, uh, fan out that is always present. But this is bad when you have paging fan out going to hundreds of thousands of G-node Bs, that is bad. And that's what our AIML model is designed to detect and mitigate. Let me go to the next slide. So we build the model, and here is where the model is getting trained. Um, and you can see the model's prediction, which is in blue, and the actual fan out are pretty close to each other. And then we let the model make decisions on, um, on data that it hasn't seen. And it is able to detect anomalies that we show here. And the anomalies are basically triggered based on uh, the, the, the predicted fan out and the actual value. If the actual value is re, you know, very, very different from compared to the predicted value, then the model, depending on levels, it will raise a minor alert or a major alert. And when a major alert is raised, it will ask the CM to actually perf CMM to us perform some mitigations. Um, so what we did is we took field data and then we simulated these network congestions in our lab so that we can prove our model. And when we deployed the model, uh, the model is able to detect the anomalies and do some mitigations. So these lines that you see here, these are the paging fan out anomalies. And you can see these air orange lines as soon as these anomalies are detected and triggered, we basically perform mitigation, which is we restrict or we restrict the fan out of uh, G node Bs that we're going to try to reach to get uh, uh, contact the UEs. And once the anomaly is gone, we remove the restriction and we go back to normal paging. So here are the key takeaways from this modeling activity. So the fan out paging can generate outages in the uh, network and our AIML based detection, the model can detect these anomalies and actually trigger preventive action from the CMM and that this solution will be available uh, in third quarter of 2023. Thank you very much for your attention.